It was a qualifying campaign that always glowed with a collective spirit, but it was illuminated by a guiding light. And qualifying now gives way to the real thing. It's been a long time coming. We've, we've worked very hard for, for this since I've started really in the Welsh setup and um, we've had many journeys that have failed but this one obviously we've been successful and yeah just trying to take it all in and looking forward to the whole experience. He is ours but we have to share him with the club never afraid to spend like no other. An 85 million pound Galactico, another world. Little Gareth Frank Bale from the northern suburbs of Cardiff. He went to school here, Woodchurch High, a huge comprehensive, and home to a special sporting elite. Cyclist Garen Thomas and rugby union Sam Warburton went here too. He was quiet, um, you know, got about his work quietly, didn't really upset too many people, you know, just, um, you know, I guess easy to get along with, you know, was, uh, he was the kid who was good at football, you know. Give the ball to Bale was probably the, our main call. If he didn't play, we didn't win. <laughs> a guiding light already then, and one soon on his way. Talent spotted by the Southampton Academy, and not long afterwards, the first team. The next man to notice, John Toshak, manager of Wales. A child prodigy in his day, but not as young as this. Gareth Bale becomes Wales' youngest ever international. 16 years and 315 days. Wales celebrated wonder kit. Late May 2006, a friendly against Trinidad and Tobago. The teenager looking very much at home. Good ball through for Bale here, and return to Archer. Gareth Bale, record breaker. How's that feel? Yeah, obviously, yeah. it's good. Yeah, and enjoyed every minute of the game. I'm just happy to get on, really. Yeah. What's it been like the last couple of days with the senior squad? Well, obviously, I'm, it's just a, a new experience for me, and just enjoy every minute of it. Just being around all the big players and that. September 2014, Wales hadn't qualified for a major tournament since 1958. Here lay the great challenge. You know, the star of qualifying, he realised that something was possible and he, I think he thought to himself, you know, I really need to perform to get this team over the line. Not the best of starts. Davis, Bill with a header, 1-1! Gareth Bale comes to the rescue in the nick of time for Wales! It's it! 2 0! Ramsey inside the Israel area tries to get it back to Bale, and he scored a second tonight! Gareth Bale makes it Israel 0, Wales 3. Back in May 2007, when he was still 17, he was on the move again from Southampton to Tottenham Hotspur. I made the right decision. It's obviously a big club, um, just a lot of potential, and hopefully we can fulfill that, and hopefully I can be a part of it. It was a faltering start. His first 24 Premier League games produced no wins. Sir Alex Ferguson branded him a jinx. Such mischief was soon silenced. Then a Champions League game against Inter Milan. Tottenham 3 0 down at half time. I said, no, listen, well, you know, I'm, I'm not taking Gareth off. I certainly felt we had to be some kind of a threat going forward. In the second half, I mean, he scored the most amazing hat trick. 2013, he was a headline act now. Would he be any different as a person? Four days off last week because I felt, you know, he needed a break because he'd been playing so well and working so hard. And I said, God, brawled for a few days. And uh, he did, he went to Cardiff. <laughs> and um, we stayed at his mum's. Bale shoots! Oh, he's got it! I don't believe it! They loved him at home and they came after him from abroad. And one club in particular could afford him. Digamos que el Bernabéu es como un tribunal que sabe mucho de fútbol. 80.000 personas, todos los partidos está lleno, pero al mismo tiempo eh, la exigencia, el nivel de exigencia es muy alto. Es un fantastic player, fantastic talent. 
I think it's not easy for a, man, for a player that comes in another country. But the first year he did really, really well. On the day that Gareth Bell was presented as a Real Madrid player, the president gave him the normal spiel, which is here you are to win things for Real Madrid. And the thing we're most interested in is European Cup. Um, what is it, nine months later, Gareth scores a winning goal in Lisbon to win the European Cup, having already scored a ridiculously good goal to win the Copa del Rey final as well. You couldn't wish for a better debut season. A first season in white and further down the line, an experienced campaigner about to turn red hot for his country. Beat Belgium in Cardiff and Wales could dream dreams as big as anyone's. Gareth Bale intercepts it and scores! Every single training session and every game, there's definitely a Gareth Bale moment where you just think, wow. You know, that he's superhuman at times. You know, it's nice to be on the same pitch as him at some times. And you think back to some of the things he's done with Wales, you know, some of the games he's played, some of the goals he's scored, it's just, it's unbelievable. Now here's Richards on the edge of the penalty area, sweeps it towards Bale with a header! And Gareth Bale, would you believe, is the man on the mission to take Wales to France? No, I don't feel expectation. I would just try and go out and play with all the boys. We all defend together as one team. If someone loses the ball, we all go looking for it back. If someone makes a mistake, it doesn't matter. We get on with it. We do everything on and off the field together, and um, yeah, it does make us stronger. Back in Madrid, he'd caught a dose of second season blues. Rumours of friction with Cristiano Ronaldo. Some blamed Bale. I think that because Gareth doesn't speak Spanish and doesn't engage with the media, I think it makes it almost too easy for them when things go wrong for him to be attacked. But home was always there. Who's probably hit the best shots that you, you could think of? Bale. Bale. Of course you always miss home. Home's home and you can never change that. And uh, whenever I get the chance to go home, I always do. Hi guys. Oh. Do you mind if I join in? Oh. Yeah. A win against Bosnia and Wales would qualify, but they lost 2-0. Then they heard Israel had lost as well. Wales will be in France next summer. I never felt it wouldn't happen. Obviously, we've been through some very difficult times with Wales on and off the pitch. We've all believed that when we got older, we will get more experience at international level, we'll get stronger, and um, yeah, our time is now. May 2016. The Champions League final again. A marathon in Milan ended in smiles. All is well in Spain. And now, a championship finals await. Ten years on, from the youngest ever at that time to the guiding light of his age. Just how big dare we dream? To be fully involved as a nation is going to be amazing for everybody, and uh, we hope we can do everybody proud. I'm sure I'll have some goosebumps, that's for sure, especially with the Welsh fans when they're singing the anthem and knowing everybody in Wales back home is watching on TV. When have you booked to go home? I haven't. <laughs> I've actually booked for the 11. <laughs> you never know. Well, there he is, Gareth Bell, a, a supreme talent. He's developed beautifully, hasn't he, into a powerful yet brilliant footballer. He was a star at Tottenham. He's now a superstar. He's a big game player. He's proven that in the Champions League finals for Real Madrid. His country is now on his shoulders. It, it, I mean, whether he likes it or not, it's, he's the guy that everyone is, uh, is, is looking to. And some of the goals that he scored in, in qualifying, seven goals, the range of goals, I mean, that is a towering header. Not only to get up there, but to get the power and the accuracy is, um, is, is something very special. Another header here, attacking it again with pace, free kicks with that left foot. It's it, getting it up and over the uh, the wall, Ronaldo-like. I mean, it's there's just a, a whole range of, of of goals, and you know you're absolutely right in what you say is is that he has bulked up when you look at the uh, the size of him now. He, I mean, he's so powerful, so quick, um, and scores some some great goals. Just a top, top player. I must admit, I'm a huge admirer of him myself. Rio is, is someone who's this one here, Gary, would have played against the him. The technique there is, is to chest in the right foot. It's just brilliant. Rio. I, mean, I mean, to play against him, a lot of the time you just see the back of him because he's that quick. He just like, <laughs> yeah. you don't yeah. to me at all.